Hey everybody, it's Ann Puckett here with another training video. I'm really excited about today's topic because this is one of the most important skills that you're going to want to master in your business, which is how to build your team through take a look appointments. And you know, sometimes you'll hear people call these coffee chats or business appointments or purposeful business coffee chats or any combination of those things, but they all mean the same thing, which is that you're going to sit down with somebody and show them an overview of an Arbonne business. Um, on purpose, that you're there to talk about the business. So I'm excited to share this with you today. It's one of my favorite topics. So here I'm going to share my screen real quick so you can see everything that I am doing. And then I'm going to pull up our, um, our um, PowerPoint for today. Okay, so here we go. I think we've just about got it. There we go. All right, so this is about how you're going to build your team through appointments, through take a look appointments, we call them. And, and building a team is really one of the most fun and important things about building a successful business in Arbonne. And really that's because we have the most generous compensation plan in the industry. There is no other company in the network marketing realm like Arbonne that allows you to build a business as wide as you want and you also get paid very many levels deep in your business. So it is an important part of building um, a successful, lucrative, profitable business is to build a team. This is also how you leverage yourself because you start with uh, yourself and your own customers and you, by creating um, legs of your business, by creating other consultant um, parts of your business, then that is a way that you can leverage yourself to have a, a very, very large income with a part-time number of hours. It's part of our business plan, really. This is what we do is we build a network of consumers ourselves and we also build an organization of consultants and they grow a network of consumers, and on and on and on it grows. So, how do you do that? Okay, there's a couple of different ways. There's some silly pictures here. One of the ways that you can do it is you can sit around and wait for someone to knock on your door or send you a Facebook message or call you and say, please, 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 please help me build an Arbonne business, I really want to. And I'm not gonna say that that's not gonna happen sometimes, because it has happened to me, but very few times has someone just sort of like popped up and wanted me to, to help them build a business. So that's a really like long-term way <laughs> to build a team. The second way is you can sort of like drop subtle hints here and there, little teeny weeny little drips of information about your business and, and hope someone sort of takes the hint and, um, and says something to you about your business. Or the third way is you can get on the phone and you can book some appointments on purpose. And this is the way that is um, reliable, the tried but true way of building a team. So who? Who are you going to invite to a take a look appointment? Really anybody. This can be anybody in your warm market. It can be your lukewarm market. Maybe people you don't know quite as well. It can be people you know through your family, your friends, neighbors, people at your job, people at a former job, people you know from college, people you know through the gym, people you know through other clubs or organizations you're in. Um, really anybody that you've never shown an overview of the business to. So I've got the little picture down there of a way that we build our warm market list with all those circles. You can go back to that. You can start a new one really at any time. Um, build a fresh list of who it is that you want to sit down and show Arbonne to. Okay, so you want to have your head in the your head in the right place. You want to develop the right mindset when it comes to take a look appointments. And so here's here are some of my basic beliefs that I cultivate, and that helps my take a look appointments to be really successful. Most people that I know, and I bet your your network is the same as mine. Most people I know need more money. It's 2016 at the time that I'm making this video. And if you're a grown up in 2016, it is probable that you need more money in your life. You also are probably a little bit financially vulnerable. That means that if something were to happen to your job or some kind of crazy thing were to happen to your house or something else or your spouse's job, you'd probably be in a little bit of trouble. We don't, most of us have the kind of savings that we need um, or the kinds of investments we need. Most people I know wish they had more time. Who doesn't complain about that? Everybody. And here's the real fact. Most people have no idea how to get more time or more, more money into their life other than whatever job or business they're already in. They just don't know another way. And so that means that most people need my help. And because I look at it that way, I'm really excited to build take a look appointments in my calendar because I'm just figuring out who it is that I'm going to be able to help next. 
and I, I really firmly believe down on my toes that if someone sits down with me and they see a proper overview of the Arbonne business, why wouldn't they want to join me? Um, it's an incredible business and I'm a great sponsor. There's no reason why they wouldn't want to join up with me. So when you have your head in the right place, it makes all of this a whole lot easier because the next step is you're going to book some appointments. So I suggest that you follow the script. You don't need to write all of this down because it is on Laura's website under the prospecting tab. You'll find the whole script there. But we're going to talk about it right now and a little bit about why it's so important to follow this overview. So first of all, you might say something like this. So put your own name in there. But you say, hi, Sue, it's Ann Puckett calling. You give her a chance to respond. Listen, do you have 30 seconds to talk? Or do you have a quick minute? Or did I catch you when you have just a minute to talk to me? Most people will say yes. Great. So the reason I'm calling is you, you might not know this about me, especially if you're new in the business, but I have a business that I'm expanding. And I've been wondering, when it comes to making money, do you keep your options open? Or another way you could word it is to say, listen, the reason I'm calling is because you know I have a business and I'm expanding it this year. And I know you're a teacher, but are you open to other ways of making money? And the reason why you want to phrase it this way is that virtually everyone will say yes. Almost everybody is open. You know, you're not asking them to agree to do anything. You're just saying, are you open to other ways of having an income than whatever the way is you already have? And most people are open to that. And if they're not, frankly, then that really is the end of the call. <laughs> you really say, okay, great. You know, you might want to book an appointment to talk about products or something, but you're really not going to go any further because if they're not open, that's really the end. The good news is 98% of people are open. So they're going to say something like this, like, well, yeah, or sure, or of course I am, um, or who wouldn't be, or, or they might sound a little bit hesitant and say something like, yeah, or maybe it depends. And that's okay if they're a little bit nervous and they're not sure if they want to say, of course I am. That's okay. It doesn't matter. It's still a positive response. So when you say, great, then what I would love to do is sit down with you for about 20 minutes and ask you some questions. And then I'm going to explain to you a little bit about how my business works. And if it makes sense to you, then we could go to the next step. And this part's really important. This is crucial. Listen, if you don't think it's a fit, or you're just not interested in what I have to say, or it doesn't sound like it would be for you, would you feel comfortable telling me that it's not for you? Really what I'm asking is, would you be able to tell me no at the end of our appointment? The vast majority of people say, sure, I could tell you no if I didn't want to do it. And then you say, good, that's great. So I can come to your place or we can meet for coffee which one's easier for you, and they'll tell you, and then you can say, okay, well then I'm either free Wednesday night or Thursday night, which one do you like? And from this point, you're just offering two choices. It's called an optional close, or A or B. Would you rather do this or that? Would you rather go here or there? Would you rather do Tuesday or Friday? You're just giving those kinds of choices. This doesn't need to be set for a long time in the future because it's just a 20 minute appointment. It could be later that day or tomorrow. Great. All right, so I'm writing this down in my calendar or I'm putting this in my phone. So we're solid for Thursday night, 8 p.m., your house, right? Are we solid? You want to ask that as a question so that they say, yeah, yeah, we're solid, and you really lock it in. Awesome. I'll see you there. Okay, now one little tip I want to have for all of you, because I know at this point, once you've got an appointment on your calendar, it's very tempting to want to send that person a reminder text or to confirm it, or I'm just calling to confirm our appointment on Thursday at 8 o'clock, and I'm going to suggest that you not do that, and here's why. Your goal is to sponsor people into your business who are responsible grown-ups. They're efficient. They know how to get things done. They can manage their own calendar. They don't need... 20,000 reminders to keep an appointment that they booked on the phone like one day ago or two days ago. So um, when you feel the need to confirm or to lock in those appointments, it's really coming from a place of you are worried that they might forget or you're worried that they might cancel and you want to try to stop them from doing that. And so instead, if you switch your mindset and look at it as of course, you know, she's an adult, she's got a job, she has children, he has a business, or, you know, he know he's in sales, and so he makes appointments all the time, or whatever it is, that you're going to want to assume that they're an adult, and they know how to handle their calendar, and they're going to show up. And when you assume that, you're going to get that a lot more often than if you are always assuming that they're going to forget if they don't have a text from you. 
All right, so when you're ready to head out the door for your appointment, here's some things you're going to need. You're going to want to have the take a look slides, which you can find on Laura's website. You can put them on your computer, on your iPad, on your phone. You can also print them out. You could do them over a Zoom call. Um, any kind of those ways would work. You want to have your calendar, your phone, however you do your calendar. A couple of other things like an order form or a host packet, an invitation to something coming up like a Discover Arbonne, and lastly, a couple of Ion Arbonne stories, especially if they really relate to the person that you are meeting with. So when you get there, let's say you're meeting at a Starbucks or something and you sit down together and you just sort of chit chat about how was your weekend, what are the kids up to, whatever, and then you say, all right, so listen, before I show you what I've got, I would like to get to know you a little bit better. So I'm gonna ask you a couple questions, like I mentioned on the phone, and then I'm gonna tell you a little bit about this, okay? Sound good? So this makes them feel comfortable, like they know what's going to happen. They're probably a little bit like, what is she gonna do to me? <laughs> so this is one way that you can put her at ease, that everything's gonna be fine, this is what we're gonna do, and it's not gonna take very long. All right, so what we do next are called discovery questions, and this is a crucial step you cannot skip in a take a look appointment, and I'll tell you why in a couple of minutes. So just want to ask some general questions, family, spouse, what does he do, what does she do, you know, your, tell me about your kids, how old are they, just general stuff. If you already know all that stuff, you can move on and head to their um, working environment, how long have you been doing that, what is it that you do. What's the best thing about it? What do you, what's your favorite thing? What's not working? What makes you want to pull your hair out? <laughs> you know, do, do you ever have like that Sunday night dread where you're like not excited to go to work? Well, why not? What is it that's not exciting to you? What about your income? Are you 100% satisfied with it? Is your paycheck or your bank account exactly where you want it to be? Oh, really? How come? Why not? What about this? How about if you could have more time or more money? how would that help you? What would that change for you? And is your current job at whatever business or um, institution going to help you to do that? Are you going to be able to get more time or more money at your current job? How long is it going to take? What are some things you've always wanted to do, like bucket list kind of stuff? And finally, I'm really passionate about helping people to have financial peace of mind, and I would like to know what that would look like for you. You know, that's a little bit of an individual thing. So what would financial peace of mind sound like and look like for you? Once you know all of that stuff, it's so important to really pay close attention. I like to jot some notes down as my prospect is telling me about their answers, because then as I start going through the take a look slides, the presentation, it's like six slides, it's not very long, then um, I'm going to first share my quick I story, and if you don't know um, what I mean by I story or you don't feel like you have a really strong one, then you can watch our video on that too. But um, well, after you go over your I story, then you're going to go through the slides and you're going to want to want to point out aspects of our business that connect to the things that she or he told you about at the beginning of the appointment. So you're purposefully connecting the dots for them about how this business could help them specifically, not just in general. So for example, let's say they told you on their bucket list they want to travel, there's places they want to go. You could point out that we have a global business, that we have um, Arbonne incentive trips, that we go to Vegas every year. You could point out that they can travel in tax deductible ways to any place in the world where Arbonne does business. Um, and they can grow a business while they do something else they love to do, like travel. Or you could also, let's imagine they told you that their favorite thing about their job is that they get to meet new people and they love people and they love getting to know people. Then you can really talk about how we develop relationships with our customers and, and our team and that we have such a supportive culture in Arbonne and we work together all the time. You know, just these are all true things, but you're just highlighting aspects of the business in a customized way that, um, you know, don't worry if you're not really great at this right away. It takes a little bit of practice to get good at this, but um, you want to have that in your mind as something you want to get good at doing so that you can really make a connection with your prospect um, and about how Arbonne will help them specifically. So at the end of your presentation, where you've talked, uh, you share with them the five or six slides that we have, then I like to make a recommendation at the end. And I say, all right, and I feel very confident making a recommendation because I really learned a lot about them and I already know a lot about Arbonne. And so this is a way for me to um, make a strong, confident recommendation about what I think they should do next. So listen, based on what you told me, 
about how you're looking for more flexibility and about how you need some more money to be able to, you know, buy a new car or something, I think this could be a really great fit for you. So can I make a recommendation or um, could I recommend something as a next step? Most people are say, sure, go ahead. So here's what I would recommend we do. We should get together again, not today, because we've already taken up our time for today. I don't want to spend any more time here. But when we get together again, I will walk you through the steps that we go through to get started. We have a training program, and I'll walk you through those steps so I can show you exactly what it is that we do to get started and how we start making money in our buying. So I'm free tomorrow or also on Tuesday, which one's better for you. And just from there, you book an appointment. A lot of people will say, okay, that sounds good. Like, let's go ahead and, and book that. If for some reason they're not quite ready to book that getting started appointment, then you could have some other things that you might recommend for them as next steps, which might be to host a gathering. And this is a great thing for somebody who's thinking about an Arbonne business because they get a chance to... The way I explain it is they get kind of a backstage view or an inside look at what it is that we do. And so they love that because it's, an, it's a way to kind of take another look at the business but from another point of view. They could also place an order. So this is how I explain that. If you, um, would you agree with me that if you were going to really be super successful in a business like this, you'd probably have to love the products, right? Of course, yes, you'd have to love the products. So let's get you a few things so you can get started with some products and see if they're just as good as I've been telling you that they are. And then the last thing you could recommend is that they come to something, that they attend an event, that they come to a Discover Arbonne, or they come to a client appreciation night, or they um, come to a nation's meeting, or they pop on a Zoom if they live out of town to something that we're doing as a group. So there's a lot of different things that someone could come to next, but it helps them to get a bigger picture of Arbonne and also to connect with some other people and see that they, they can relate to someone else in the room. So no matter how your, your take a look appointment ends, it's going to end with something that is going to be beneficial for both your prospect and for you because you're either going to have a getting started appointment with somebody and a new business partner or you've got a party on the books or you've got an order at the least or some combination of those things or you've got someone ready to come with you to the next event. So all of these things are moving your business in a positive direction. So with all of that being said, I hope you've learned a lot today about how to build your business with take a look appointments. And so it's time to start making your list of people, getting on the phone and booking the appointments, and then um, doing those appointments and having some new team members to get started. So I'm looking forward to hearing about all of your successes. And thank you so much for being on the call today. Have a great day. Bye.